Hey guys, welcome back to my History Channel Battle for the Pacific walkthrough. This is the ninth part of my walkthrough, and it'll cover the second of three Iwo Jima missions. It's good to start off this mission with a grenade in this little tunnel right here. The darkness of these caves can sometimes make it hard to see. As such, I recommend turning the brightness on your TV all the way up, as it can make it easier to see the enemies in the dark. I do really like the unique setting for this mission though. It definitely does not look like any of the other missions. This mission actually reminds me of the movie Letters from Iwo Jima, which also took place in the Iwo Jima caves. Very good movie by the way for anybody interested in history, especially World War II history. Have to cut this wire. Just like in all my previous walkthroughs, I really like switching out the Thompson for the Type 100 here. The Type 100 is a solid weapon because it has 30 rounds per clip, and it's easy to get extra ammo for. I also like keeping the bar over the Thompson in my second gun slot, as I think the bar is simply a more powerful overall weapon in this game. Do keep in mind that if you drop a weapon with an empty clip, it actually disappears and you won't be able to pick it back up. A lot of enemies in this room, so be prepared. At least these muzzle flashes can make things easier to see. As you can see here, I often prefer to aim by strafing rather than use the right analog stick to aim. The left analog stick is a lot easier to use sometimes. There's a little bit of a platforming element here, doing my best Super Mario impersonation. The first part is right here. You don't really have to search for these parts as the game guides you towards them. You just have to take out the enemies along the way. It's pretty hard to see in this tunnel. It definitely makes it harder to take these guys out. Pretty spacious cavern. Here's the second part. Now let's put this thing back together. I find the history of these Iwo Jima caves to be very interesting. The Japanese, under the command of General Tadamichi Kurabayashi, built a very intricate and effective tunneling system that stretched for 16 miles. The Allies had a much more difficult time taking Iwo Jima than they initially planned, as the battle lasted 5 long weeks. The well-prepared Japanese defenses on Iwo Jima were a major reason for that. The Japanese soldiers fought to the death, with only about 200 soldiers surrendering out of over 20,000. That's crazy. Now we can see, this makes the mission a lot more fun to play. There's a huge group of enemies in this room. They're pretty fun to mow down though. The bar is such a good weapon. Notice how fast that reload is too. Last room here. Gonna clear these guys out.
and that's it. As you can see, this mission is pretty short. Hope you guys tune in for the final walkthrough of this series, which will cover the third and final Iwo Jima mission. Thanks for watching, and until next time.